We're talking about web page loading speed, how to run a speed test, and how to evaluate your site. Hey, it's Patrick from artstorefronts.com, and this video is originally part of a blog post that we're talking about site speed, why it's important, why you should care. So if you want to read that post, there'll be a note in the show notes or at the end of the video, depending on where you're watching it. Um, so we're talking about web page speed test today, and we're talking specifically how important it is for your site and how you can test um, and, and, and eventually improve your site, right? So for today's testing purposes, we're going to test just a dummy site that we have set up. We're going to test um, a, a print studio site that's hosted on our platform, an artist that's hosted on our platform, and then photographer specifically, and then we'll test art.com and Fine Art America as well. Um, for enjoyment. So I've got Pingdom pulled up here. It's the domain is tools.pingdom.com. I can I can put a note to that in or a link to that in the show notes so you can test it. But what I'm going to do is first I'm going to paste in my dummy site. Um, and I want you to see this little uh, button here called settings. And, and this is critical when you test your site. So Pingdom it has six different servers that are located all over the world and, and they're going to run the test as if you know, that's where your computer would be testing the speed, either in Amsterdam or Dallas or Melbourne or Stockholm or whatever. So when you're testing and evaluating your site, it's important to pull this thing down and stick to one city. It doesn't matter which one you pick, just stick to one and then and then you can measure the times against one another because uh, sometimes they swing a little bit. But let's just get started. I'm going to I'm going to use Dallas for all the different uh, for all the different tests that I'm running now. And you just click test now and it does its thing and it's it's emulating a computer in Dallas, it's going to your website, it's seeing how fast the page is loading, and it comes back with a grade. So you can see it's fired the grade back here, and don't worry about the grade. Um, request is an interesting one to look at, but really what we're going to focus on for this particular tutorial is the load time. So that's how long it's taken for your web page to load. In this case, um, we got 1.67 seconds, you know, obviously the 87 grade, which, which is nice. So the next test that I ran, um, and again, you can see it's from Dallas, Texas. We've got a print studio website, and so customcanvasprints.com. In this case, the load time was 2.02 seconds, um, but they got a really good grade. So uh, you can see that these things swing around. Your website is faster than 71%, um, which is great, but w what is that going to do for you? 77%. Uh, the key to look at is the load time. So there we are, custom canvas prints, nice job, 2.2 seconds. Uh, I've got a photographer here. Um, Crockwell Photography, he got 1.6 seconds, um, and, and that's a photographer that's hosted on our platform, so that's really fast, that's great. Um, I tested art.com, which to be perfectly fair, they're giant in a bloated website, so obviously they're 3.11 seconds on their loading time. And I also tested Fine Art America, which is um, 2.15 seconds, um, so they did pretty good, but an 82 grade. So again, the key that we're going to look at for our tests is the load time. And, and one other thing to be cognizant about is that if you're really going to be working on improving your site, which is what we're going to be arguing for in this blog post, you need to test it a few different times because you might get different scores as you do it. Uh, so you can see we've got a little bit different um, of a timing here. So another thing to keep in mind, so tools.pingdom.com, um, you can test your site, get some initial readings, and then once you start working on the tweaks, you can go back and look at it after the fact and see how you did. So let's get back to the post and get into that. <music> 